What's up YouTube, it's your boy Major 21 back with yet another video. Today I'm gonna to review a pop that I, for some reason, haven't reviewed on the channel before. So let's get right into it, let's go. channel if you saw the title you already know which one it is it is the Lugio's obelisk the tormentor this is a really dope really cool pop uh had it for a while it's a gamestop exclusive i got lucky and caught it at a gamestop on a restock one time and uh man this is a really cool pop I think it came out in like 2020 if i'm not mistaken so yeah it came out a little while ago i just i don't know it's just been in my collection i never did a review for it uh definitely one of my favorite dual monsters from Oh obelisk the tormentor Nice box art. Here's the whole wave of it. I only have out of this wave uh, Exodia and the Red Eyes Black Dragon, but definitely a really cool wave. I love the the dual monsters. I love the monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh. So I mean, growing up, I watched a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Me and my brother played the card game, but uh, <laughs> we had our own rules for it. My youngest brother was too young, but uh, me and my other brother, we had our own rules for it. We had the cards, but we didn't play by the whole dual monsters rules. We had. Our own little rules, I guess. You, it's, I think it was easier, in my opinion, but it was cool until he started cheating. But yeah, but definitely a really cool pop, in my opinion. Glad to get this in the um, glad to still have it in the collection. You know, it's not going anywhere. The price on this one has gone up a lot. I think it's somewhere between 70 and 90 bucks now for this one, which is crazy. Uh, but like I said, it's a really cool pop. And uh, if you get them all, if you get this one, you gotta get Slifer, which I do have. I've already done a video of Slifer. And then we do have a Wing Dragon and Raw finally coming out soon. So, yeah. I don't have the Seto Kaiba Funko Pop either. So, I need to get that. I do have the uh, the Red Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which I did a video of already. But uh, definitely really cool pop in my opinion. We gotta get this bad boy out of the box because it's crazy. Now, let's go. So here we have Obelisk the Tormentor out of the box. And it is really cool, really detailed. I love the way this thing looks. I love the action pose they have him in, kind of stepping forward. Has his wings, which look pretty nice as well. Yeah, pretty cool overall Funko Pop. No errors on this one at all, if I, that I can say. Um, one thing I would say is, it could have did a little bit better if you put a little bit of shading in this. So if somebody's like an expert painter, which I, mean, I may dabble in it, but not with this one, because it's kind of an expensive pop now. <laughs> But uh, anybody ever did a custom of this one, with this one, it would be amazing because it's already the base is there. You just had to go in and put shadows and everything. But I like this pop a lot. Definitely really cool one. Definitely fitting of the um, one of the Egyptian God cards. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now I just got to go out there and buy the cards. But, yeah, I like this pop a lot, though. So now let's get this bad boy on the rotator, give it one spin, then I'll come back and end the video. So once again, this was the Obelisk the Tormentor GameStop exclusive Yu-Gi-Oh! Funko Pop. Uh, that's, like, that's saying a lot, but this is the Obelisk Tormentor Funko Pop. <laughs> really cool. I liked it a lot. Like I said, it could be pushed a little bit further with the paint job. But other than that, I mean, it's a really nice pop overall. Details crazy on it. The uh, overall look of it is nice. The uh, the statue of it, stature of it is really nice as well. So yeah, I can't complain too much about it. But that's all I got for you guys today on this one. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. This is your boy Matrix21. Peace. Talk to y'all later. Bye.